Good day, grade 1. Today, we will have a lesson that will surely be very interesting for you. And the title of our lesson for today is The Concept of Subtraction and Subtraction as Inverse of Addition. And to start, we will talk about Mr. Cruz and he works as a guard in a parking lot. He monitors the cars that go there every day. Today, eight cars are being parked there, but the other two left early. How many cars remain? To find out the number of cars left, we will do subtraction. Now, there are eight cars on the parking lot, but two of them left, leaving only six cars. The word left may mean that something was or were taken away. It means that there will be less numbers when something is taken away. Just like what happened with the eight cars. Eight minus two equals six. When we are doing subtraction, we are using this symbol, which is the minus symbol or the minus sign. So, 8 minus 2 equals 6. Now, 8 is what we call the minuin. And the minuin is the number from which a number is being taken away. And 8 minus 2 and 2 is the subtrahend. And the subtrahend is the number that is being taken away. Equals 6, which is what we call the difference or the result of Subtracting 2 from 8. So, 8 minus 2 equals 6. There you go. Now, let's have another example. So, Mary has 10 little kittens. She gave 3 to Jana. How many kittens were left to Mary? So, we have 10 kittens minus... Three kittens equals seven kittens. There you go. So, ten, which is the minuin, minus three, which is the subtrahend, is equals seven, which is the difference. There you go. So now, let's compare addition with subtraction. Now remember that in addition, it is always putting together. So just like what we have here, 6 plus 2 equals 8. And 7 plus 3 equals 10. Meanwhile, subtraction is taking away. So, this is the inverse or the opposite of addition. So, 8 minus 6 equals 2. And 10 minus 3 equals 7. There you go. So, for example, we have here 6 broccolis plus 2 more broccolis and we will have 8 broccolis because we put 6 and 2 together. But when, for example, we have 8 broccolis, but we subtract 6 broccolis or we remove 6 broccolis, then we will have 2 broccolis. There you go. Another, we have 7 apples plus 
3 more apples equals 10 apples. But now that we have 10 apples, we're going to subtract 7 or we're going to remove 7 apples. Now we will just have 3 apples there. Now remember that subtraction is the same as taking away. The minus sign is used to show that a number is subtracted from another number. Minuin is the number from which another number is taken. The subtrahend is the number to be taken away. And the difference is the result or the answer. Now, subtraction is the inverse of addition. There you go. Great job, my dear grade 1. Now, you already know the concept of subtraction and subtraction as inverse of addition. Great job!